Hello guys, welcome to the class on aromatase inhibitors. So under aromatase inhibitors, you have got three drugs to remember: letrozole, nestrozole, examestin. So what is the mechanism of action of aromatase inhibitors? These aromatase inhibitors inhibits the aromatization of the A-ring of testosterone and androstenedione, which is required for the final and key steps which is involved in the estrogen production so thereby the aromatase inhibitors inhibits the aromatization of a ring by inhibiting aromatase enzyme so coming to the letrozole letrozole is a orally active non steroidal compound which reversibly inhibits the aromatization so letrozole is a reversible aromatase inhibitor so it causes inhibition of our aromatase enzyme within the breast cancer cells also thereby it suppresses the proliferation of estrogen dependent breast carcinoma cells the extent of suppression is greater when compared with the tamoxifen so letrozole pharmacokinetic properties are it is administered orally absorbed rapidly it has got 100% oral bioavailability and has got larger volume of distribution with longer duration of action because of its low metabolism with a tear off of 40 hours so what are the indications of letrozole so letrozole you should remember it is a first line drug it is the first line drug for the treatment of early breast cancers in er positive post menopausal women so letrozole is the first line drug for adjuvant therapy after mastectomy in estrogen receptor positive postmenopausal women and it is it has got one more advantage that is it provides a beneficial effect behind 5 years of the treatment of tamoxifen so it has got extended adjuvant therapy with letrozole it affords the protection behind the standard 5 year tamoxifen treatment but as of now the guidelines recommends that this should be given as a sequential therapy where letrozole is given after 2 years of tamoxifen treatment so replacement of tamoxifen should be done by aromatase inhibitor after 2 years So what is the reason for uh, replacing with the aromatase inhibitor why you will not be continuing the tamoxifen behind two years the reason being tamoxifen increases the risk of endometrial carcinoma as well as it has got thromboembolic events so these two things that is risk of endometrial carcinoma and thromboembolic events are not seen with aromatase inhibitors so letrozole is also effective in the advanced breast carcinoma it is also first line drug because it takes the longer time for disease progression and it has got higher response rate with respect to the beneficial effect compared to the tamoxifen it is also very effective as a second line drug in the treatment of cases where tamoxifen has failed to produce failed to afford the beneficial effects so coming to the anestrozole it is similar to that of the letrozole so anestrozole is a non-steroidal reversible aromatase inhibitor so one difference you have to remember with respect to letrozole is it is, it is more potent than the letrozole and uh, it has got one more advantage that anestrozole can be used as a single daily dose and p effect will be seen after 7 to 10 days so anestrozole so what are the uses so it is useful as adjuvant therapy in early ear positive breast cancers it is used as a palliative drug in case of advanced cases of postmenopausal women it is a first line drug both in early as well as advanced breast carcinoma in postmenopausal women it also reduces the risk of contralateral development of new breast tumors. 
and also it is very effective in advanced ear positive breast cancers because the time taken for disease progression will be more compared to tamoxifen. So in early cases this anestrozole the tumor recurrence time will be longer than the tamoxifen. And also anestrozole responds to the cases where tamoxifen have failed. So it responds to many tamoxifen resistant cases. So coming to the examestin. So examestin has a unique property when compared to letrozole and anestrozole. So if you remember anestrozole and letrozole were non-steroidal and irreversible aromatase inhibitor whereas examestin is a steroidal irreversible aromatase inhibitor which suppresses more than 90% of the estradiol production. In addition, it has got weak androgenic activity and uh, one more advantage of examestin is it has, it, is got, it has got fewer treatment failures and it is administered orally and well tolerated. So what are the beneficial effects of examestin? It can be used in both early breast cancers as well as advanced breast cancers. In early breast cancer, it is used as an adjuvant therapy which is substituted for tamoxifen thereby reduce the risk of disease progression as well as the disease recurrence. So in advanced breast carcinoma, it longers the survival uh, rate and also it increases the time to disease progression. So in general, aromatase inhibitors are the first line drug for the early breast cancers as well as the advanced breast cancers in the postmenopausal women. It is administered orally the two compounds that is letrozole and anestrozole are the non-steroidal reversible aromatase inhibitor the exception is examestin which is a steroidal and irreversible aromatase inhibitor. So coming to the common side effects of aromatase inhibitor it produces hot flashes, vaginal dryness, hair thinning, diarrhea, dyspepsia, joint pain and stiffness and also it accelerates the bone loss. So one more difference you should remember is when compared to the tamoxifen, these aromatase inhibitor, they do not increase the risk of endometrial carcinoma or they do not increase the risk of thromboembolic events. So in general, coming to the aromatase inhibitor silent features, they inhibit the estrogen in all tissue, in particularly within the breast cancer cells. They delays the recurrence of early stage breast carcinoma. They provide the prophylactic beneficial effect beyond 5 years. So in case of postmenopausal women, uh, it has to be uh, uh, tamoxifen after 2 years, it has to be replaced with aromatase inhibitor. The reason being again tamoxifen increases the risk of endometrial carcinoma as well as thromboembolic events. So aromatase inhibitor delays the disease progression in uh, early as well as advanced breast carcinoma it has got greater survival advantage in case of advanced as well as metastatic breast carcinoma there it does not produces any endometrial hyperplasia there is no thrombotic risk when compared to the tamoxifen so this aromatase inhibitor should not be used in premenopausal women and it increases the bone loss so there is a increased risk for fracture and arthritis and on lipid profile, they do not have any significant effect on the lipid profile. Thank you.